Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our Dex versus SQL series and in this series we are going to look at few more interesting items how to do them on uh, SQL and how to do them in Dex. Now some of you might have a question why we are not using any kind of join in Dex. Uh, does Dex support joins or no? Yes, Dex supports joins and we are going to explore them at some time. Right now we are using a Power BI data model. Uh, which already have a joins and then we want to see all those things on power bi also and that's the only reason why we are not showing you any kind of a join in dex while we uh, have to show those joins to you in, in sql uh, so uh, we have this model which is basically perfectly having many to one relationship in a star schema with our sales table and we continue to use that uh, so let's go ahead and again start today's exercise so in today's exercise what we are going to do is Let's look at our first SQL. So our first SQL for the day is when we would like to actually filter some data. So we would say uh, select star from a sales table where item ID equals to 37 and order by order number. So let's execute this. So what we got, we got some data out here and we have around 530 rows and this order number uh, uh, 1001 is the first one with item id 37 if we scroll we see all our items are id is 37 now let's go to the dex studio in dex studio how we are going to do again we are going to use evaluate we are because we are using dex studio so what we are doing is simply we are taking the complete table using the filter now filter uh, in this case is pretty powerful because simply it, it is going to return a table and uh, what filter is going to do for us not only is going to return the table but it can take us filters also so sales item id equal to 37 and just like uh, sql we do have order by in dex also and it is also order by and we are calling it order by number okay so let's evaluate this also so again we can see 530 rows and you can see this order number 1001 and then again 37 and you even if you scroll down you will see same um, uh, 37 number is there now how to do it in power bi now power bi do support filter but we don't want to create a major right now so what i've done is i've actually created this um, table for you where i put down most of the columns from the sales table and i have actually put a slicer now uh, while we could create a major which could have this um, item id 37 filter but we would like to show you the uh, right most appropriate way for this thing to, to be done is that we put a filter so we go ahead and put this 37 filter here and you do see that you know we have now this number 530 out here and this data is filtered and if you see this order number is 1001 is here and now uh, sometime these kind of formatting issues would be there so actually you can find out this order number and actually you can call it as instead of decimal you can call it as whole number it will give you a warning but uh, we can always ignore that and then it's giving aggregation we can always say don't summarize so and from next time onwards it whenever you use it it will not summarize because we know order number don't need to be summarized or maybe count is better so this is the first sequel now look at the second sequel now let's run this now let's understand what this sequel wants so we want a couple of days of data so now this sales date is again part of the sales table so we are saying select star from sales where sales days is between uh, 1st of February and 2nd of February and again order by 1. So now what it is going to give us, it's going to give us the data for a couple of days and again order by 1. So we got and we got some 29 rows out here. Fine. So how to do the same thing in DAX? Uh, SQL is pretty simple. Same table. Uh, we have a filter between clause we have used. Okay. Now we go to DAX. Uh, we do have a between but uh, I prefer right now to use here um, greater than or equal to because uh, between is not uh, there in the dex studio uh, for in, inside the filter I tried that out so I just use less than and greater than or equal to filter uh, sales uh, sales date and uh, so again we are returning the sales table and we are saying sales greater than or equal to 1st of February and less than or equal to 2nd of February order by 1 let's see how much data it returns So it returned 29 rows okay same number of rows but we wanted to return from there now we go to the power bi now first let's clear this filter and now we have to select dates out here because that's the way we wanted to have like we would use slicers out here april and we will use february 2020 first of february and now we go here 
and again we will use February 2020 here and 2nd of February we got 29 uh, um, records out here and then again 2846 uh, if it is sorted on order number it can be ascending and descending based on that the number can come we can change the order by clicking here okay so any which ways we want it is possible okay so now this is another sequel where we have actually learned how can we uh, you know go ahead and uh, filter it out now let's try one more sequel now let's go across two tables so we want to filter new york now now where is new york new york we don't have a city name in sales table so we have to join it with geography and what is the join with geography is city id equal to city id okay so we are saying select everything from the sales from the sales table and it is going to have inner join with geography where city id equal to city id and city name is equal to new york so this is what we wanted so sql is do a join and join clause because we, we know this is fixed this is fixed in even our decks also now the filter is coming from the joined table which is inner join right now and we execute it we got 353 rows and with this time we have not used any order by we can use the order by here to you know uh, see, uh, sort on the same order like let's try to look for this number uh, 353 there so we go to the deck studio now what would be the equal it's equal now the join is on another table not on the same table so filter uh, if i am putting the filter will take the join on that particular table only so how to do that so we have something known as calculate table for that now what does calculate table take calculate table can take a table out here now after the table you can have any n number of filter clause whatever you want so so now i can have a filter clause related to sales and filter clause uh, can be on anything uh, which is related to sales now if it is not related to sales that would create a, a cross join or something else that we will see sometime later but right now we can take a filter on the table which is joined with sales so what we are going to do here is we say okay calculate table which table we need to calculate sales then we can have n number of filter clause so well, we are going to add one more filter clause and this n number of filter clause means uh, you might want to filter on geography then item and this and that so we can have multiple combination okay so we say okay fine we want to filter on geography and geography city is equal to new york so now the table is different and the filter table is different let's see so evaluate again because we are in deck studio so we are now getting 353 rows again here also let's go back and look at there now we filter it here now what we need is new york and what i've done is i created this city filter with uh, this thing so just try to find out new york here 353 again okay same number everywhere so we are doing it in power bi we are doing it in deck studio we are doing it in sql same results everywhere almost same thing now why i'm not using here calculate table create new table and see it out no because we in power bi we want to put those things on visual and see how it will appear Dex Studio has a different way to do it. SQL has a different way to do it. Same output, different ways to achieve it. Okay. So we know now how we've achieved New York. Now let's go ahead and complicate it more. Now filter and group by. So let's filter and group also together. So what we wanted to do. Now we already learned in the last video how to group by or summarize two options we have. So now again because this time we wanted to filter New York and we wanted to group by quantity of the sales and again simply I cannot use calculate uh, uh, without calculate table I cannot use a filter out here so one of the way would have been that I would have put a major filter out here used I would have used calculate and uh, I would have used major filter now here the choice I have is I wanted to continue the filtering on the table and wanted to have that one so what we are doing is in the group by instead of taking simply the sales table we are saying we are going to take a calculated table which is sales filtered by geography new york and then we start giving our group by so our first group by is group by geography city and we are going to create the sales major and we know in the group by we need uh, uh, some x and current group by quantity and then again order by sales that's not very important but we I just uh, because we are going to anyway going to return uh, only one city because we are filtering on New York so let's de do this so New York 604 now summarize way so we have used group by now let's look at summarize so summarize we can again so we need to give calculate table 
and in the calculate table we are going to filter new york again summarize group by you don't need to rename them so you can simply give them any aggregation you need to give a new name just like in sql we would so this is what we are going to do now same thing how we have done it in sql now in sql we have said okay i want to select g.city and sum of quantity from sales from canerica.dbo.sales inner join with geography where city id equal to city id this is this is fixed for us because this is our join known join and g dot new york is also yeah also what we wanted now select g dot city and sum of quantity now the moment we take this g dot city we need to give this group by in the uh, sql so sql needs a group by because the moment you use something uh, other than an, a non aggregated column like this column is not aggregated so we need to put it into group by and then order by two or one it doesn't matter because now we are going to get only one so sql is new york 604 and go back to the dax again and let evaluate summarize also now we already seen how uh, we can do it with group by so again new york 604 now how to do it in power bi and power bi what i have done is i have actually taken a card card visual and in card visual i already put a quantity that is going to show me the quantity out here and you already see we have filtered new york which is coming 604 on this card visual so the way is you apply a filter you put grand total i need i put a quantity simply out here now this is already a data which is at line level so it's not aggregating but if i put i put something else it would have aggregated so 604 because i put new york filter i put something else it and come back again it's 0 604 so that's what the number we needed that's what we wanted to cover for today's video so now you know how to put a filter within the same table across the table how to show that index studio how to show that in power bi in power bi we have used filters or slicers and in dax studio we have done using the filters inside the tables now uh, there could be a different dax which is getting generated from power bi compared to what we are doing right now here but what we need to understand that how to execute the similar kind of concepts in sql in dax and how to achieve the similar kind of results in power bi now exact replication of dax in power bi we are not doing that is going to generate on the back end because we want to know what is the best achievement way fine so thanks for watching this video thank you